Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day. This is Wendy. I'm on to do a five minute Mojo Buster video for you, for all the lovely ladies that seem to have lost their mojo. Now when I lose my mojo, I do a lot of things, but I do lose my, mo my creative mojo. So when that happens to me, I like to do something that I haven't done before, or like try my hand in another craft or something or something that that's just totally different from all the other crafts that I love doing so what I've got here I'm going to make my own vintage stickers now I already have one page done and this I'm using the stickers I've had these in my my supplies for quite a while there it's a pack of 160 self adhesive labels and I picked those up from one of our cheapo shops up here on the coast and I really like these ones because they they've got the matte top it's not that you know the shiny top that normal stickers do okay so I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm actually going to time myself for five minutes I did try and time myself here, but I got into like two minutes and hubby screamed out and I thought he'd fallen and hurt himself. So that video kind of like went out the window. Alright, so but I think they look really cool. And this is just using the sticker sheet and some stamps and a couple of stencils. Okay, so I'm going to do that again now for you. And I'm going to put a five minute timer on. Um, clock okay that was four let's get to five okay so I've got a five minute timer on and I'm going to start All right, I've got five minutes on my clock and it's on go so this time I've decided to use the the honeycomb which I think would be nice and this is just to just put like a little bit of background design on the labels or the stickers and you're going to hear my phone go off guys because if I turn my volume off I won't be able to hear when the clock has um, run down so this is just like a just something that might help you help bring back your mojo or your creative ideas, something a little bit different. Okay, so I've got that on there and might I've got a stamp here, so I'm going to put some of this on the on on it as well for the background, which is a little bit darker, but that's okay. I'm just going to press it on there, make them like all different. All right, so we've done that, and I might also use a little bit of punchinella for the circles. any ink in it just for a bit of a different pattern okay all right so that's the background and now all I'm going to do is a bit of stamping so I have my my number stamp here which I do like so I'm going to just put that in my ink pad and do that over here on a couple I really filled that one up there but that's okay and I have got this little flower stamp this is one of my my favorite flower stamps so I'm going to put some of that stamp that over my page and try and just pick up even just a little bit of the flower shape on each of the labels ok 
okay and I have got this one here is just um, not it's not a cog it's like something to do with travel so I might just I can't I can't think of what that's called at the moment so I'm just going to put that down in a couple of places too even just getting a part of it on there and I do like my tulips so I am going to put my tulips I'm going to turn this one up around this way and put my little tulips right down there so I've got the tulips and I've got like a little um, that's not going to stick on there little fern Okay, so I'm going to turn that back around this way and put that just there. Okay. Oh, there's my timer. It scared me. <laughs> okay, I'll turn that off, guys. All right, I've turned that off. Um, I still wanted to do just a little bit more stamping. Um, so I am going to just finish this off a little bit. So I've got this one here that has like a little... Um, postage stamp on it. Whoops. And I have got another couple of little postage stamp ones but I will have to stamp this off first just to make sure if it's up the right way or not. Get a bit of paper. Um, doesn't, I don't think it, oh there, it was up the right way, okay. So what I might do is put that one down here. Just hold that on there for a minute. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? See this one here I'd have um, that way there. Alright, and the last thing that I would want to do is to put a bit of just text. Put, yeah. So I've just got um, a script stamp and I'm just going to put a little bit of text over these. Just to build up the, um, the stickers. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Alright, so the last thing I've done with, with this one here is I inked around the edges. Uh, that does take a little bit of time, but I'll show you how I've done it. Uh, normally, I would take the sticker off and then ink around the edges with, with whatever um, colour I was using and just put it straight down on my page. But I thought just to, um, just to get them all set and ready, all you have to do is just fold that over like that and just go around the um, the stickers like this. So this bit here, I would just move that paper down, the backing paper, and just go around like that. So fold that one up there, do that edge, and do that edge just like that okay so that's where you get the edging already done on your All right, sketch so that's that one that's the one I just done and that was the one I done before when I thought my husband hurt himself <laughs> okay they look pretty cool I like them thanks everyone I hope you enjoyed if you do some, put a picture down, 
in group. Love to see them. You all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.